Hello and welcome to another edition of Rare or Hot Wheels. Now in today's episode we're going to take a look at something from Hot Wheels 40th anniversary back in 2008 and that will be a bunch of cars from the Hot Wheels Designers Challenge. Now the Designers Challenge was something Hot Wheels came up with in 2007 and uh, they wanted to involve the motor manufacturers that they represent and create castings of and they wanted to include them in their 40th anniversary celebrations. So the challenge went out to the designers and designs were made from various manufacturers and from various designers and the best went to the SEMA Motor Show to be judged by Hot Wheels and the public and the winners, six vehicles, were going to be included in this set. So we're going to take a look at these cars. They are pretty cool with the likes of Lotus and various others and uh, as you'll see I don't have a complete set because each of the castings came out in four variations and I'm actually missing one of the castings the gangster grin but I'm sure you'll agree the rest of them are really really cool so let's get on and take a look at them the first of these designs is the double shots from Mitsubishi Motors now the Mitsubishi double shots were designed by designer Gary Raggle and as a child Gary Raggle custom painted and even polished his Hot Wheels cars so they definitely influenced his career and in later years as a young designer Raggle interned at Hot Wheels and he became experienced at working on the 164th scale and one trick that he learned whilst at uh, Hot Wheels was that the plan view of a car is ultimately important when you're making a design for something that is played with on the floor and ultimately looked at from above and uh, as you can see from overhead you would be able to see that the double shots has two engines one in the front and one in the back and those engines are the same models of engine as used in the Eclipse and the Lancer and uh, Mitsubishi aficionados would hopefully be able to recognize this the car also features strong wheel arches and a wraparound windshield which all helped to make this car a designer's challenge winner for the next design, we hop across the Atlantic to have a look at Steve Krein's Lotus concept car. Krein's grew up in Belgium. Uh, in Belgium at the time, they didn't have Hot Wheels, but Krein's was a matchbox collector and had a bit of an obsession with them, and that influenced him into becoming a car designer. Now, when he designed the Lotus concept, he wanted it to make it look like a Lotus, i.e. light, fun to drive, and quite small, yet having a muscular look, something that it sort of hinted at the power within even if the power did come from small engines and the speed with the Lotus was all about small engines and power to weight ratio and ability and uh, he succeeded I think he succeeded very well this little casting carries the Lotus face and uh, it's got a lot of detail in it and the co-molded wheels on it look very good and one pretty cool little car The third casting up in this series is the Honda Racer, designed by Guillermo Gonzalez. Uh, Gonzalez, like a lot of the other designers it seems, was a bit of a Hot Wheels fanatic, or at least a diecast fanatic when he was a kid. And Gonzalez went out and bought second-hand tracks and set up elaborate courses with jumps and all sorts, using piles of books in his house. And as the others, this also fueled his desire to go out and design cars. Now the, the Honda Racer, is built in the shape of the Honda H emblem and if you look at it you can actually see that and uh, he also included the iconic styling of the old Honda V10 racer from the 1960s and he had a tiny little V10 engine on this particular model the the headers on the back of the car have been exaggerated a bit but they certainly look cool and in the white Honda racing colors it actually looks better than it does in the other colors but again this guy did well and uh, he earned his place in the Designers Challenge series. And now we return to American Shores to have a look at the Dodge XP07, which was Mark Reason's uh, entry for the Designers Challenge. And uh, he actually produced a really cool, again, a cool car, a sort of, uh, muscle car style thing. But uh, this had a bit of a difference. It was turbine powered. Um, Ryzen had this idea in his mind for years before he was asked to do the challenge for Hot Wheels and uh, 
he wanted something that was going to hint at the turbine cars, the turbine concept cars that Chrysler produced back in the 1960s. However, be it on the tiny uh, Hot Wheels scale of 164. And again, like the other guys, he's done a pretty good job of the design. Uh, and they're also raising a little bit of a double whammy because when the Hot Wheels cars were unveiled at the Las Vegas uh, Custom SEMA show, uh, he also had been working on a Dodge vehicle, a full-size concept car called the Dodge Blackjack. And that was also unveiled at the same time. So this guy had to be in two places at once and fair play to him. And of course, we also will prefer the uh, Hot Wheels version. Next, we move over to the Bowtie brand, Chevrolet, and uh, Amori Diaz Serrano's GM Chevrolator. Now, this is one hell of a machine, and uh, it reminds me of the 1930s, 1940s uh, Bonneville speed record machines, huge wheels and a slimline body. It's got sort of echoes of the 53 Corvette in it as well, with the scallops on the side, but oh, God, it's what a cool car. Now, uh, Serrano himself owns 500 plus mint redline Hot Wheels and uh, again that is a, a influence into him uh, designing cars and when he designed the Chevrolator he wanted to, the look that combined the raw power and styling of a land speed record cars from the 1930s and uh, this thing was powered in theory by a 1500 horsepower V16 engine and this certainly made it a worthy winner for inclusion in the designer's challenge set. And the last one for this video is the Hot Wheels own designed uh, HW40 designed by Jun Imai. Sadly I, don't, I can't cover the Ford uh, Gangster Grin as I don't have one in my collection as yet, but that will change. But what he's designed here is the second of our turbine cars uh, within this uh, set. And again, it's got a bit of a the look of somewhere between like a, a bit of a twin mill in profile with the wraparound screen and uh, there's a bit of Corvette in there, a bit of muscle car. And I think it, it, it works, it works very well. And I guess as it came from uh, Hot Wheels in-house designers, it had to work. And they, they succeeded. Um, Imai, when he was a kid, um, used to have a Dixie Challenger, which is his first Hot Wheels. And I guess he never, never imagined a day that he would end up working alongside Larry Wood, who designed the thing for him. Well, not necessarily for him, but who designed it anyway. But it must have felt like it designed it for him. MI made the HW40, a car that's fit for drift, road, trips to the toy store, drag racing, or whatever. And looks really cool with the, the glass hood and windshield, which are combined into one. Certainly makes a change for the car from the cars that have got a windscreen that runs into the roof with these panoramic things where you can see the sky from no matter where you're sat. A bit like a, a covered convertible. Anyway, yep, yeah, onto this. He's done a very good job with this, and uh, I think the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary car was a very similar design. Anyway, that's all for this time, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and next time we're going to have a look at some more flea market finds. This time there will be a bunch of race cars, including a treasure hunt. That's all for now, then, folks. Toodle pip. See you later.